so we're live and of course how this functions is squad rush so you have well objectives to go for and there you go the guys from uh, meet your makers are on the offense and a is the objectives that they need to go for as the defensive position is being established by the ruskies from i play it's still not final they're adding a lot of stuff in and there you go uh, we do have hunter from well, XXK now with the swag boys trying to push up you have only 25 tickets so you need to know exactly what you're doing and not waste your tickets on those pushes and so we can tell here uh, Far Farkulkov aka the one and only Smashu is getting ready takes taken down by Beck from behind and look at 7 no dark he's sitting right behind Crooked this is watching the middle there as Hunter and uh, Oscar aka Sayo are trying to push up and that is the smoke the power of the smoke even though you can spot behind it it's still extremely extremely difficult to see people behind and there we go the an94 is coming up from benny the awesome player from the guys at Prescape. the ammo hut kind of there we go no we see punch coming up with the m16 and we're gonna see a lot of the m16 but it's nice to see an a94 and aek here and there gonna go by the bank and watching the middle ticket room as we still have donut uh, watching inside sauce the one gets the kill on a punch and you still have the eu uh, movement there the eu uh, hit fire Tess gets a shot finally takes out hanta switches for the m16 for another one and takes a cool one. no not yet he's gonna get shot down by Farukov, aka smashu with the 44 mag he bounces it there tofi gets the shots and cannot take out punch and there you go, Crooked with a double with back. A triple kill for Crooked onto everybody from MYM. And that's the first push taken down. And there you go. They're setting up yet again. Now we can actually go here into sort of a spectator mode, if you will, and more of a, uh, a free cam as well. They're setting up here, the guys from MYM trying to push through the middle. But they're only going to leave one person uh, in that position. We can't actually see what they have in terms of attachments and weapons and all that. Except for what we see visually. So that's one thing that is pretty different from uh, Battlefield 4. And gets the shot sound, cannot take him out. We are spectating Benny, who's sitting back there. Gets the one on the revive. We'll get the hip fire. No, there you go with a 44. So low on health. And he's going to get rushed by so many as Cricket takes out Donut. And you do have the quick res in Battlefield 3. So it is extremely difficult to play stuff like that. Uh, Oscar Perlinski, a.k.a. Sayo, is watching the middle stairs and 15 tickets left. That's 10 and 2 pushes uh, failed by the guys from Meteor Makers as they do try to push on to iPlay. And a nice headshot from Sayo lobbing more 320 smokes down the range. He's done it. We'll get one pick. And we're looking at Tofi from iPlay, who's watching them backstairs. As he spots out Punch Trula, can't really get the shot from that angle. And spotting through the smoke is extremely difficult, even though it is possible in Battlefield 3. That would be one of the things that I'd like to be fixed. Uh, if it is not already done. Oh, through the run. Donut and Crooked will pick up two. Uh, well, 7 0 Dark is watching from behind. Tofi will get the shot onto Benny. And I player just playing it very, very well. As this, this uh, is still extremely well played. Everybody is responding. I'd like to see something that would say, you know, this player is dead, or like a skull on it if he's dead. I go guess the shot sound punch it. I can't really make it happen. Solo on health. And of course, in Battlefield 3: Venice Unleashed, you don't have suppression and you don't have um, blue filter to worry about, which is very, very good, in my opinion. Oh, there you go, Tress to get the fire down, but he's not really going for the shots. Donut will get the kill on the Smashu, but he's just running around. Donut with a double headshot on the Oscar, but he's still going to get taken on. The rush is coming in, and look at that massive push coming up from both teams. Pulls out the 93R, back in BF3, cannot finish off the final one, and just rest train all day, every day. Push from behind, but it's still four inside. Tress to go for the nade bounce, and going for the res. Right from behind, that's Punch Trula cannot make it work. But he's going to get revived as the double is coming up. Hunter will go for the double in the donut and Crooked. And Benny will finish off Tofi. And it's 10 tickets left. 
But pushing through, Oscar cannot take out the one and the two coming into the middle ticket booth as Hanta is going to push back. And at this point, all you want to do is lob nades onto the objective, trying to defend it as much as possible. There I go. One is sitting right behind a very good defensive position. Cannot really take out people. He's really just trying to delay him. One nade can really take him out. As going for the defuse, gets the shot, and that is Mashu to get the save with a 44 mag. As the objective is winding down there, the tickers, the sounds, mate, zoning down pretty well. And I believe my field of view is 100. So there's the thing, the field of view is not perfect because of the spectator. Uh, it's not really how it is in Battlefield 4. And it's not really perfect spectator, but it's something. And there we go. That's one objective down. So going to bring it up 1-0 to zero for MYM as we speak. And 7-0 Dark is trying to go for a defensive position. We don't really have a, um, a way to see everybody like a... Um, like a tabletop. There you go. Guess the shot. That's Crooked taken down. Now you can see the revives. You can check on the monitor of the map. It's just the best that we have right now until we add a tabletop uh, into the mod. And spots out Hunter there from Swag Boys uh, and MYM. He's trying to push away. And this is a very delicate position, actually. You want to push out, but the defense has such a good position hiding in the buildings on one side or on the other right here. And this position, just this smoking, this position is actually very, very good if you want to push out. Or you can just use it to delay people as they are trying to go. And this is what you want to see. I want to see the smoke. And MYM are playing it very, very tactically here. And I hate using that the word, but they are actually playing it fantastically well. You do see Punchrula trying to sneak away behind everybody on A. He spawns out the one, gets the shot and the kill on a crooked from iPlay. As Donut is tries to nade the um, the truck right below, the white truck. And Tofi is still rocking the M16 Cobra Plus. I, I mean, I want to click a button that will change it, but it doesn't really work. I mean, BF4 Spectator has a lot of very good things, but, you know, not perfect. There we go, Hunter is not really watching behind, lobs a couple of nades down below, and he's already, he's gonna get killed by his, by, uh, smash his nade there. Very well played, but we'll take out the one, cannot finish off the second. Donut with the M16 play again, but getting revived, pushing through 7-0 Dark, it's gonna be a defense, and only five tickets lost there. They still have quite a few pushes to go, this is 5v5, which is pretty darn cool. Get some shots down, but I'm firing a bit too much there back. You still have spread. You know, it's not really Call of Duty here. But the fire is coming down and it gets so many team kills. But Donut is able to finish off a couple. And Beck is going to trade it out. But Benny is going to get a revived. And MYM are back on the road. This is Battlefield 3. So one tap revives are a thing. You know, it's it might be a bad, maybe a good thing. But hey, it's uh, still in the game. We'll have to see what will happen with that. As Donut is trying to go up to an elevated position. If he wants to push down below, spots out Oscar watching the wrong way. And he's going to get taken down with that quick press. And Oscar, aka Sayo, is watching from behind. He just gets shot from Tofi. And Tofi's uh, going to reload and go back onto the objective. You don't want to lose that. He's going to defend his buddy, but he's pushed from two people. Hunter will take out the one, take out the second on a Donut and Tofi. And it's just such a good push there. Hunta from Swag Boys and MYM is playing it extremely well. As the second bomb is going to go down to push MYM up to, to zero. And they're going to take the win.